Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be discussing Chandler's question here. So he was asking for a video discussing how item level 500 through 600 gear drops would be great. To my understanding, a new level 60 will be at the bottom of the scale, getting drops close to 500. And as you kill a ton of mobs, it increases your gear drop range. So I hope that this was clear, but my prior understanding was the gear might have dropped near your gear score, but that wasn't the case. With buying full faction armor and higher pieces before farming lower gear score items still dropped until a lot of farming was done. So Chandler, this is a great question. You know, we have two different uh, different ways to really think about this. So there's one thought that there is a saved gear score number, and then there's one thought that it matters what you have equipped when the mob is actually killed. So one thing to keep in mind it is does matter where you're killing these mobs as well. So we'll start off with the gear score. What does what what am I talking about when I talk about how there's two different thoughts? So we have an alpha player that has 5k plus hours, played all of the alpha, played a ton of the closed beta as well, and then we have a uh, data miner that you know, found this data out in the game files. So he said the data miner first said that, uh, you know, there is a, uh, a chance to drop higher gear above 510. If you are equipping up to five, let me actually get this exact quote up here. So loot is based off gear score at the time of mob death. So you would need to keep the 500 gear you don't like on to get 510 plus gear you do. But at that, a lot of server code can't be fully verified. Just remember that. So this is obviously data mined. Uh, so max gear score for launch is going to be 600. So how do you get above 510 gear score when you're tier five, level 60? Well, you have to have 510 plus gear score overall before you can do so. So there is a grind from that 500 to 510. Um, so you have to keep in mind to get that 510 plus, I think I said that wrong the first time actually guys. So if you want to get above 510 plus gear score drops, you are going to have to have equipped overall gear score above 500. So keep that in mind. So if you guys have gear that sucks and you don't really want to equip it, but it puts you over 500, it may be worth keeping that on your gear uh, or your equipped self because you are going to have that really opportunity for 510 plus gear score. So then we jump into the next guy, uh, Cleo Menace. He, like I said, played 500k plus hours, not 500k, 5k plus hours of the alpha and a lot of the beta as well. And he says that it does have a save number. They said this a while back in the alpha. There is a save number of your gear score. So once you put it on and take it back off, that should show that there is a new number. So let's say we have 422 gear score right now. We put on a new piece and it brings us all the way up somehow to 500 gear score. At that point in time, it saves your gear score at 500. And now you have been, uh, you know, in that range for dropping 510 plus gear score items because you were at once 500. Uh, and then, like I said, that data miner says that you have to have it on the time of the death of the mob. So you have to equip that gear that you don't even like. If it's a bad gear piece, but it puts you above 500, you're going to have to continue to keep that equipped. So there's two different thought processes right now. We haven't had, to, you know, really the capability of doing enough testing during the closed beta to make sure either one was accurate. But I do want to say, guys, either way, you're going to have to have above 500 gear score, um, you know, at the time of the mob's death or just the saved number above 500. So make sure to get that gear score up. And one way to get that gear score up, and uh, well, I guess one thing I'll actually mention as well real quickly, is that when you're getting your gear score up, you have to remain in a zone that is enabled for those drops. So, you know, if you go down to Cutlass Keys, you're probably not going to get 60 plus or, you know, 600 gear score items. You're not going to get those 575 gear score items. You're going to have to be in, you know, maybe Shattered Mountain. You're going to have to be in a 60 zone, maybe Ebon Scale Reach, or, you know, Dungeons do kind of ignore this whole factor, by the way. Just keep that in mind. Dungeons have been in the known in the past to kind of just ignore this idea altogether. Dungeons drop whatever the hell they want, seems like. Uh, but just keep in mind that, you know, for the most part, you are going to have to have above 500 gear score at the time of the mob death, or at least a saved number of above 500 in our opinion. So just keep that in mind. I do want to say as well, like I said, you're going to have to be in a 60 plus zone. Evan Scale Reach, Reekwater, Shattered Mountain. Those are all 60 plus zones. There are going to be more zones added in the game, it sounds like. So I'm sure there'll be a lot more 60 plus zones in the future. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of ways to grab this gear and getting above 500 gear score is going to be very, very important to really get to uh, those enabled 510 plus gear score drops very, very quickly. So there's two kind of grinds. So really, once you hit 60, you're going to have to grind for that 510 plus, and then you're going to have to grind for that 600 gear score. So there is, like I said, a lot of grinding in the game. A lot of people excited about that. You know, the idea of having to really grab or really kind of build up your gear, not just grabbing 600 gear score items right after hitting level 60. Hopefully that made a lot of sense to you guys just kind of rambling today. I wanted to give you guys my understanding on the gear 
your score though because this was a two days ago asked question and I'm trying to make videos on anything you guys have questions about and want to kind of learn and hear more about. So remember the mob uh, level does matter as well for drops as well as the zone you're in. So just keep that all in mind. And thank you guys again for tuning in. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try to answer any questions. Like I said, guys, max gear score for launch is going to be 600. And there's no fully verifying either you know option of you have a saved gear score number once you equip it or if there is actually you have to have that equipped on the mob death. So we'll have to test that out when the game comes out. And we'll definitely let you know if there is an open beta. We'll definitely try to get to that point where we can test that out and give you guys a for sure answer thanks again guys for tuning in make sure to quickly subscribe to the channel turn notifications on and like the video i'll see you guys all in the next one